Hi, I'm Jana Thomas from Block Lock, and I'm here to show you another one of our fantastic rulers. Stay tuned. Well, I'm thrilled to show you our new log cabin rulers. We currently have two sizes. We've got the smaller one and the larger one, and each one of these rulers can do two different sizes of logs. So you can actually make three log cabin blocks with them. You can make one that's smaller and one with larger logs and also if you do a combination you can make curved log cabins with them. But these are actually listed in terms of finished size. So this ruler for example, um, from the groove to the outside edge it's listed as three quarters of an inch. That is the finished width of the log. So um, for this, it would be your finished width plus your seam allowance plus your fudge factor of an eighth of an inch, and that's what size you cut your strips. So we're actually working with this one today. We're going to make one inch finished logs, and that's my sample that I have here. So I've already starched my fabric ahead of time, and then I determined um, the width of my strip. So one inch finished, that's printed on the ruler plus half an inch seam allowance, plus my fudge factor of an eighth of an inch, and so my strips were cut one and five eighths inch wide. But you don't have to remember that because you can just download and print the cutting list off of your computer screen. So now, this is the very last log that I have sewn to the block. And when I put the ruler down and I push in this direction, it's going to lock onto the seam and it's not rocking. And what this is going to do on this side is it's going to, going to square it off so that I have a nice square edge. Now I've got that fudge factor that's built in. So I'm going to start trimming. And notice that the block is wider than my ruler and that's perfectly okay. This is the only ruler we make that you can go bigger than the ruler itself. So I'm going to cut part of the way, get over that other seam, and then finish trimming. And then I'm going to clean up the edge. And with this ruler, you will always have perfectly finished logs as you go out. So I can't wait to get started on this and make myself some log cabin quilts. And as soon as I do, we'll put them on the website. So thank you very much. Thanks for joining us today. Please visit our website for more information and happy quilting.